presentation is titled OpenAI Mode Code Generation Demo. My name is Anton Antonov. Today is April 8, 2023. The subtitle of this presentation is Streamlining ChatGPT Code Generation Workflows for different uh, programming languages. And I'm going to demonstrate what does this mean. So here I'm evaluating this OpenAI Mode cell. The evaluation produced this input uh, cell with a valid Mathematica code which was executed and we obtained this plot. So we can see the cell itself has a natural language um, specification for the code to be generated in Mathematica. All right, so the rest of the presentation is just elaborating on what I was just uh, showing. So first, there is another, um, there is another uh, demo, another movie called OpenAI Mode Demo, which uh, it's a good idea to see before proceeding with this uh, presentation, watching this uh, movie. So here is the setup. I'm loading the Packlet OpenAI Mode and with the command OpenAI Mode, I'm converting this uh, notebook, the style of this notebook to allow the creation of um, OpenAI text completion cells. The underlying um, evaluator function of the OpenAI text completion cells is uh, being uh, manipulated here, the, the default options. I'm going to show this in the next slide. So this is the text completion cell and uh, the underlying evaluator, we put some some dedicated uh, default parameters and more or less this is what is happening here. We're going to ev evaluate uh, the OpenAI text completion cells with a certain epilogue being applied. By default, this epilogue is identity. So when I evaluate this OpenAI mode cell, I'm getting this text, right? But what if I want to execute it, say, I mean, of course I can say copy and, and paste it, but what might actually have its own, you know, further manipulation might be required and so forth. So instead we say that the epilogue is cell print uh, WL, and so now when we generate, when we evaluate uh, this uh, uh, OpenAI text completion cells, we get some, some uh, executable mathematical code, which we can just execute. We can automate this last step, right? We can also print it and run the cell. And I'm going to, to make a new OpenAI mode uh, cell here and going to dictate. Plot the first 100 prime numbers with Mathematica. Well, this was exactly what we requested. All right, so I'm going to do one more example. Uh, so first, um, I'm going to uh, generate, um, uh, make uh, OpenAI uh, text completion cell, and I'm going to dictate again. Numerical integration code in Mathematica for the function one over square root of x over the domain 2 and 10. Yeah, again, this is exactly what we requested. All right, uh, great. So uh, let's see, can we do other languages? Well, we can, right? So this is here, I'm basically saying whatever you are going to execute with this uh, cell, right? So uh, this, uh, uh, cell now, uh, which is whatever is the universal type of um, uh, input cell in pale green, I'm saying, well, I'm expecting Python code to be produced. And so make um, my Python cell. So this is what is happening with uh, this uh, uh, setting the option epilogue to be cell print Python. And so when I uh, evaluate this, we see that uh, we have this uh, external evaluate um, uh, Python cell being produced and we can evaluate it and do, you know, and, and see the result. And similarly, you know, yeah, we, if we have some other type of code. All right, so uh, same goes for say, if you wanna do uh, uh, Julia and uh, so forth. And uh, the way I evaluated this, I mean, they should have been, you know, like one after the other, right? But yeah, I mean, this here produced um, I think uh, this is a uh, valid, uh, valid Julia code. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, with uh, this, but uh, it, it's not going to be printed out the way it is. So let me actually evaluate the list here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, so it's the same principle and uh, same with um, 
we found there's another question here how well are and uh, julia being known by chat gpt and on the web so this here means it's a valid it's a valid code this this is not right this is not a valid uh, uh, r code now this one also it's not a valid r code okay well uh this was it actually before um finishing i would like to mention that uh, kuba putkalitsky greatly uh, helped with the uh, ideas and insights and implementation of this uh, notebook style sheets for you know open ai mode and the other dsl and raku modes i've been demonstrating in other videos thank you